That's right. After after World War Two, I was wanting to get an army jeep. So my dad and I had gone down to Oak Ridge on three or four different occasions. Dad did buy an old shovel down there. But every jeep I found was just bad shape, I didn't think it was worth taking home. So I sort of forgot about it. I mean, I, had ne I wasn't in service, but a good friend of mine went through the whole thing, and uh, he, he applied to get a Jeep, and that's what I, what I, what I was trying to get him on, was what his application that he put in. So I sort of forgot about it and went on for a few months. A fellow I knew who came in over one day, he had a brand new Jeep. He took me, took me for a ride in it. I showed him the papers I had. He said, uh, gosh almighty, he said, you write a letter to this general, I forgot his name now, and he said, uh, in Columbus, Ohio, he said, I'll guarantee you'll have a new Jeep in two weeks. Send a certified check for $782. So I got a certified check for seven hundred and eighty two dollars. Mailed uh -huh. it to the general. <laughs> I didn't hear anything from him for a couple of weeks, but when I got a letter back from him, he said he didn't have a new Jeep, but he had a substantially new Jeep. And if I wanted it I could have it. So I figured it'd probably something a few thousand miles on it. So I wrote back that I'd take it. So we got on the train, train ran from Norton. At that, uh, that time, when we got on the train, rode the train through the so high. We got out and went over to the Army Depot, and I never saw so much equipment, trucks, and everything in my life. The guy told me where it was. I went out there and to get it. When I looked at it, I was very much surprised because it only had nine miles on it. So it was brand new. So we drove it back. Number so high is in October. Black froze to death, it's cold, no heat on it. No side curtains. Fact is I started staying in Jenkins, Kentucky, I got so cold. But after we crossed over the mountain from Jenkins into Virginia, there was at least fifteen degrees difference in the temperature, so we, we were very comfortable in coming back the rest of the way. And I drove from Columbus, Ohio to Northern Virginia on a tank of gas, fourteen gallon of gas. And I kept that Jeep 10 years. Now I wish I still had it.